Hello, y'all. Uh, go ahead and say thanks to Firecat for posting this in her community. I can't remember who originally shared it, but I thought this was really interesting and worth sharing. Uh, it says, in Pond Scum, scientists find answers to one of evolution's which came first cases. Uh, this was published, released the 10th of January, 2018. Uh, it says, moths and butterflies existed during Jurassic era. era. Million, millions of years before flowering plants, team reports. See, it says, uh, while visiting, visiting a colleague in Germany in 2012, he was examining soil samples for the guy, Paul K. Strother, was examining soil samples for pollen, spores, pieces of plants, and insect legs, organic debris that might otherwise have been considered pond scum. When it was trapped in sediment during cataclysmic earth events, 20... Oops, sorry, 200 million years ago. The slides of rock samples drilled in the German countryside looked, oops, included some material that looked familiar to Strother, a Department of Earth and Environmental Sciences researcher at Boston College's Western Univer University Observatory, who studies the origin and early, early evolution of land plants. What he saw were features similar to those found in insect wings. And it was a type of moths known as Lepidoptera, however you say that. I'm sorry, I should have looked that up. I will. Okay, anyway. Uh, they were long posited to have evolved 50 to 70 million years later during the Cretaceous period when the first flowering plants emerged as their prime food source. It's uh, been <coughs> that the, the consensus has been that insects follow flowers. Uh, and a new report published there, this, says, that's what it says, uh, but that would be 50 million years later than what the wings were saying. It was odd to say the least that there would be butterflies before there were flowers. Five years later, Sturther and colleagues from Natural History Museums in Germany and a university in the Netherlands have developed a scientific case showing, showing the lipido Lepidoptera, however you say, I'm sorry, uh, evolved earlier than previously established, emerging during the Jurassic period. Absent flowers, the researchers report primitive moths and butterflies, known as glossata, developed the physical attributes, namely the sucking proboscis, to find nutrition by drawing off water droplets from the tips of immature Gemonosperm Gimon, seeds. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right either. <laughs> what we found is that these butterflies and moths with mouth parts were feeding on pollen droplets from them from conifers related to pines, seed plants without fruits and flowers. They were feeding off the cone borne seeds, mainly as a source of water, it said Strother. Uh, says, uh, the team's findings shed new light on the classic example of coevolution, the evolutionary interplay between pollinating insects, flies, bees, wasps, butterflies, and moths, and angiosperms or flowers, Strother said. Uh, it does not change this, but instead it demonstrates that the glossata, which gave rise to the lipidopera, however you say fucking hell, uh, evolved earlier by feeding adaptation to the to them ovules or the pollen droplets said Strother. These insects later transferred their feeding preference into onto angiosperms and as a result ended up co-evolving with flowers where they functioned to transfer pollen as they feed on nectar. And developing a clearer picture of insect evolution had proved elusive because much of what is learned from ancient rock soil and fossils comes from earth once covered by oceans, he said. Moths and butterflies lived over land masses. In addition, their delicate features were prone to deterioration prior to fossilization. So, he's really quite lucky to get these. Uh, you know, given the age of them, you know what I'm saying. Uh, and Utrecht University. I'm like I said. I'm sorry if I mispronounce shit. Uh, paleontologist. Bas, Bas von de Schutenberg, Schutenberg, sorry, 
and colleagues assembled a portfolio of samples containing fossilized remains of moths and butterflies to carefully establish the presence of lipid that word that thing in earth samples from a region where the cataclysmic transition between Triassic, Triassic and Jurassic is preserved in rock. The mass extinction event 201 million years ago wiped out an estimated 35 percent of all species which makes the survival and diversification of it all the more remarkable. So, yeah. Uh, they assembled the evidence, required a team, including Strother and Van de Dude, uh, Utrecht University's Timo Van... I can't pronounce. I'm so sorry. An undergraduate at the time, this woman and that person and that person of the German Natural History Museum. I can't pronounce that either. And that, <laughs> anyways, uh, I can't pronounce it. Stuttgart. Anyway, uh, in 2012, he was examining the sample slides looking at algae, fungi, fungi, and soil microorganisms. These are organic extractions after you've dissolved away the minerals in the samples. You're looking at anything. There's organic. There are pollen and spores. And there are other things. Pieces of plant cuticle, resistant organic material, insect leg. 99% is plant debris. Pond scoop. Uh, there. Uh, part of what he saw looked similar to insects from another era. Uh, he said so. It's old fashioned science of discovery. We're looking at this microscopic world of things that lived hundreds of millions of years ago and we don't know what they are. The challenge is, can we figure out what what they are? That's the challenge. Anyway, I go back to you know the the video I done about the flower, the prehistoric flower they found. I'll put the link for that below. Uh, that they found fossilized in amber, it was teeny tiny. Uh, but uh, yeah, there with that. Uh, anyway, I just. Felt like that was a little bit, that was connected to this a little bit there because, you know, the little flower, itty bitty, itty bitty microscopic flower, these are, you know, I, I think along the same era as this here, so, or like right after the, these. Anyway, and here's a closer up picture of them there. <clears throat> okay. And here is about Strother, uh, about the fossil discovery may indicate life on land evolved earlier than thought. Uh, this is from 2011. This was before that, and this is really interesting stuff. So, uh, it's saying uh, it's 500 million early, 500 million years earlier than previously thought. Is what it's saying. It's not very long. Ago. Article here. Uh, anyway. And here is about the said that 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 guy there uh, and stuff. His, I'll put these links below, and there's his publications. And I'm sure you know you can find this dude's too. Uh, if he's, you know, there. Uh, I got the searches for this stuff as well. Uh, as you see there, it pulls up them articles with him too there, and this. Here you go there with that. Uh, and here, oh yes, I forgot, this is the butterfly in question, uh, one of them, uh, there it is, there's 180,000 species of it, and you know, like, like that article said, there's, uh, it survived those period, the, the cataclysm and stuff, so it's really, it's amazing, you know, to, to, to see, still be able to see these today. Uh, and you know, they probably don't look the same as they did then, but anyways, um, monarch butterfly and the lunar moth are too widely recognized of them, so I see them a lot around here in the moths, uh, there. Anyway, you know, I just thought this was interesting and, and, and worth sharing, so, uh, I hope y'all learned something, because I learned something too. I learned that I can't pronounce a lot of words here. Uh, anyway, <laughs> need to work on that. But anyways, uh, thanks y'all for, for watching and stuff and 
I hope everybody has a great day um, and everything. Uh, if you're not, I hope it gets better and stuff. But yeah, I apologize for the mispronunciations again. So, uh, but uh, yeah, peace and much love to y'all. And I will see y'all. Bye.